about second grade artists. This is our first day doing virtual learning and for today's lesson we will be doing bubble printing. Before we get into it, we are going to discuss our seven elements of art, which are line, space, shape, value, form, texture, and color. For this project, we will be experimenting with color. For this project, you will need dish soap, you will need a bowls, you will need a jar of water, food coloring, a knife, one straw, and paper. I have two types of paper here on my table. I have your traditional copying paper, which I cut in half from one sheet, fold, and cut in half to give us two sheets of paper. I also have construction paper. If you use construction paper, please use your lightest paper which are your whites, your light pinks, and your yellows. So, we're gonna grab our bowl, and we're gonna begin. You wanna start with a tablespoon of dish soap. You're gonna place that inside our bowl. Then we're gonna choose our color of dye. I'm gonna start with green. You're going to need 10 drops of dye. We're going to start off with 10 and just a tablespoon of dish soap. We may add more depending on the size of your bowl. My bowl is pretty big, so this is what we're going to start with. Now I'm going to add some water. We're going to add two tablespoons of water. Now remember I mentioned that my bowl is pretty big and that doesn't seem like a lot of water. So we are going to add some more water. If we add more water, we need more dish soap. If we need more dish soap, we need more dye. I'm going to add another tablespoon of dish soap. That looks about right. Some more green dye. Let's do 10 more drops. and some more water. Now, we're gonna mix it all up with our straw. Lightly mix it up. Just so we can Now, there are two methods to bubble printing. We can either do the dabbing method or we can do the plopping method. The dabbing method is when we take our sheet of paper, once we have our bubble tower, and we dab it on top of the bubbles. The plopping method is when we get our bubble tower and we are going to take our knife and we are going to scrape that bubble tower and plop it right onto our paper. It's going to be pretty cool. We're going to start off with the dabbing method. So, we're going to start blowing our bubbles. Ready? Whew. Now we have our tower. We're going to grab our paper and we're just going to dab onto the bubbles like that. So it's very faint and it's hard to see. This is the dabbing method. We're going to try it again and we're going to blow another tower. What may help too is that if you add more dye to your bowl, that will help darken it up. Okay? We're going to try another color. I'm going to set this green bowl aside, like so, and I have already prepared 
this bowl here. This is pink and purple dye. I mixed two. Feel free to mix your colors if you want. So we are going to grab our straw and we're going to start blowing. Woo! We got our tower there. Now we're going to try the plopping method. I'm going to grab a sheet of small construction paper, my butter knife, and I'm going to scoop and plop the colors right onto my paper like that. And as the bubbles pop, you can see them. Remember, try not to burst them. I know it's tempting, but let it do its own magic. And as it pops, it will reveal the bubble print. So that looks pretty cool. So we are going to try the plopping method with the green color and we're going to mix two colors on one sheet. We're going to move this pink bowl aside. We're going to get our green bowl. Make sure you're wiping your straw or using another straw. We're going to get our tower. There we go. And I like the plopping method. I think it's a little bit more effective. And we're going to scoop and plop onto our paper. Woo. There we go. So let it do its magic and we're going to let it pop, 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 pop and take its time on the paper. So here's our two colors. Pretty cool. So now what we can do is we can try different color paper. So we're going to set this aside. And we are going to try a yellow sheet of paper. We're going to go back and forth. And I'm going to go back to my pink bowl, my pinkish purple bowl. And we are going to grab that straw and we're going to blow some bubbles. So we're going to scoop with our butter knife and woo, we are going to plop it onto the paper if it just wants to get off. Okay, like that. It could be a little tricky, but you got to work your magic. Cool. So we're going to let it do its thing and we can set that aside. And if you have a lot of sheets of paper that you have prepared and that you're ready to start, you can keep going as those bubbles finish popping. So here's what the pink dye looks like on the yellow sheet of paper. We're going to set that aside and we're going to pick back up a paper that we used before when we had the pink and green dye. Okay. You can add some blue to the green dye. And you can do another bubble print using the same sheet of paper. Okay, I'm going to show you some prints that I've done that are already dry. Here's one. And this is using the pink and purple dye. I layered, did some dabbing methods with this one here. Here's another one. This is using the eight and a half by 11 paper that we cut in half. Be careful with this because it's water and soap. This paper is very thin and it can get wrinkled up very quickly. So be careful with this one. And here's another yellow sheet that I did. You can get creative as you want. You can mix your dyes. You can even do a collage if you want. It's all up to you guys. The main focus is color, which is one of the seven elements of art. Good luck guys.
Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this art project. More art videos will be posted very soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the KO Production channel. Goodbye, see you soon.